Hey Jaco, with DaVinci Resolve 18.5, we can now use Universal Scene Description, which is a file for 3D models, and it is an alternative to the FBX, OBJ and the AE files, and I'll show you what you can expect from this new file type. Now let's get digital. So I'm pretty sure you noticed, but this concrete block is not supposed to be in this hallway. I've put it in, and it is a 3D object. Not the object that you see now, is a USD file, but originally this was FBX. So does that mean that the USD files are now the files that you want to be using in DaVinci Resolve? I would say yes, but with a caveat. So let's go into a fusion composition. I will import the block as an FBX and an OBJ file, and then I'll show you how to make this into a USD file. So fusion import FBX in, this is the block file. As you can see, nothing shows up. The issue is with the media in nodes, this would have to be the textures. So these are the textures that I would have to replace. And as you can see, also this metallic one is not connected. Now let me import the OBJ file. As you can see, this one too does not show up. Let me just connect something to it. Now we do have a texture, but we don't actually have the object. So what I'll do is I'll open Blender, I'll simply import the FBX file, import the file. As you can see, the file is in and the textures are immediately applied. If you don't see the textures, what you can do is go to Edit, Preferences, Enable, the Node Wrangler add-on. Then you'll select the object, go to the material, I'll make a new one, go to the shadings tab. With the BSDF node selected, you could do this manually, but if you have the node Wrangler add-on enabled, this will be done automatically for you. So click on the arrow to expand this tool selection, go to the node Wrangler, go to Add Principled Setup, then select all of the image material that was provided with the 3D model. Once applied, the images will be applied automatically and also connected automatically. And when we go back to the layout, the textures are applied. Now I want to save this as a USD file, go to File, Export, Universal Scene Description, now, if the model is made for multiple objects, select all of them. If you have the selection only enabled, otherwise disable this option. So you export the whole model. Now, once this is done, we can go back to DaVinci Resolve. This time, we don't import it in this way. We'll actually go to the effects, go to tools, USD, and select the U loader and simply drag it inside. Find the model. This is the one that I've just exported. We also need to use the U render node. And now we should be able to see it. We do see it, it's a little bit off. So I'll add the U transform node to position this. And just like that, you have the file in with the textures applied automatically. You can use the transfer node to position it around and render it out. You can also apply the lights. If you do, make sure that the scene is enabled in the render node. Now let me add some lights. The one that you may want to use is the U Dome one. This is basically that you can use HDR maps and automatically one is provided for us. It's not visible but we can enable it and it is visible inside here, enable sky dome. So this is the default map of a sandy beach, but you can change this. And this also provides different lighting. In the U dome, you can go to the transform tab to adjust the rotation and this will also affect the light on the object. But this may not be super visible in this example because the object is not metal, so it's not reflecting where the light actually is. I can simply add a U shape 
we can connect it to the merge. I'll just make it small. In the materials tab, you can change the workflow mode from metallic to specular. Both of them are the same, they just give you a different kind of result. And metallic is easier to use if you just want to get a metallic result. And as you can see, just changing from metallic to specular, these settings were also kept intact. Now let's see, if I spin this around, you can see how the lights reflect in the shape that I've made. Now what can also happen when you want to import the files, I have the USD file for a suitcase and I also have two other copies of this file. So let's see how this looks. So first I have the FBX scene of the suitcase. As you could see this one was also not working just like the block. I have an OBJ file, I do not. I have the USD files, let me try one of those. So load node. Suitcase, this is the original. I then also tried to make my own using the FBX conversion. I was not successful. But let me just show you how this looks like. As you can see in this example, the suitcase doesn't have its material applied. But if I simply import it inside here, all suitcase. So this one is a no-go. Let me try another one, the one that I made. So this one was the last one. This one does have the texture is applied. So let me try to import this one into the Vinci Resolve. So this one does have textures, but they don't look like they should. So what you can do in those cases, when you have the textures applied correctly, is export this as a colada.dae file. I have that file already exported, so let me just import it. This is also an FBX scene, as you can see, .dae file. And this one has the texture supplied, just as you would expect. The difference being, this takes five nodes, and the uloader is just one node. Now, depending on the model that you have, you may need to use the FBX files, OBJ files, DAE files, or the USD files. It all depends on how the model will work inside DaVinci Resolve. Now one thing that we don't have yet, let me go into this example, is shadows. So you can fake it by using a drop shadow. So this is the original shadow that I had and I simply adjusted all of these values to get something a little bit more nice and I then also added a blur node so it fades in a little bit more with the actual scene. And to make the object move with the scene, I achieved that by using the planar tracker and then making a planar transfer and connected it after the blur node. And then we'll simply go into the edit page and to render this out. The USD implementation in DaVinci Resolve is a great start, but they still have ways to go. And if you found this video helpful, you know what to do. And if you do, it will mean a lot to me, because I can make this channel grow. I'm Simon, and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.